five pretty impossible golf shots, one pro, one plus one handicap, and a bit of a competition. Not only that, we're gonna tell you just how we play them. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Corny, you've got the lead in the Masters, and that's what you get. Make sure you do enjoy the Masters. I am, did I tell you I'm going to the Masters? Yeah, you did. Did I? Yeah. Oh, are you sick of? Yeah, I'm sick of it. Oh, uh. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. But second of all, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. In today's video, we are taking on five impossible chip shots. Tom, you wanna come in? Everyone, Hello. this is Tom. Tom's a plus one handicapper. He's not that much taller than me, I'm just stood on the slope again. Yeah. Tom, what do you like at difficult chip shots? Class. Let's just go on this other side. Class. <laughs> See what I mean there? Class. Yeah. So you're going to beat me? Oh, uh, yeah. You've beat me every I've other every single time. You've so. beat me at every other challenge we've done today, yeah. so um, let's just get straight to it. We have pine straw, we have a tree banging the way. And we are both using lob wedge for this challenge. I'm gonna see if I can use that little bank and just try and almost draw it round. Yeah. Bit of a Bubba Watson, draw it round. I don't think you need to, I think the slope will bring it round itself. So how we're playing this from the pine straw, is it like a bunker or do you go ball first, do you think? You, you've got to try and catch ball first. You've got to really. get, if you get yeah. a bit of pine straw in between them grooves. You're just gonna duff it. No spin, is it? That's got a chance. Bit too far on the angle, I think. So what do you think happened there? Too much pine before the ball? Yeah. So So that's me taking the first round. I got around the tree from the pine straw to there, although I wouldn't fancy the put down the hill. Now the way we did that was I tried to get as close to the ball as I could with the club so I didn't get any of this stuff in between the club and the ball. That way I managed to get a little bit of stoppage, a little bit of spin, and actually control it on the green. Tom just caught his a little bit heavy, a little bit... Yeah, duff slightly. Bit duffy. Yeah. Tom just caught his a little bit heavy, a little bit duffy, would you say? Yeah. That's one up. Okay, Tom, so you've missed the green to the right and you've got nothing to work with apart from flopping it over that tree. How do you feel? Quite excited, I love it in flop shots. I love it. It's long, I think. Oh, it's a great effort. It's too what, long. what do you feel you did there? Just keep loft? Yeah, just accelerate through it, really. So make sure you sort of flip, sort of flip underneath it like Nicholson does. Big Phil, Philly Mick, Masters Spech. Right, Tom's giving me something to beat there. Oh, that's pulled one. Ooh. Oh, it's short. Not green though. What? Yeah. yeah, I think it's inside mine. This is worth measuring, isn't it? Mm. So guys, just before we go and measure those and I go two up, <laughs> it's very important there to have a lofted club. So I used my 60 degree wedge. I held the face wide open and I've held the loft through the ball. You felt you'd do anything differently, Tom? No, exactly the same. Just maintain that loft? Yeah. I also like to feel as though, just quickly as well, that's uh, two up. I might actually win a challenge, Tom. Well, time yet. <laughs> time yet. For the flop shot, I also feel like I try and get a little bit lower to the ground and that way I can just use my upper body to create the momentum rather than trying to transfer any weight. There's no need to transfer weight on that shot. It's all about that shoulder rotation and then using the weight of the club to glide under the ball with the loft that you're using to get it skywards. So Tom, you've just come round Amen Corner, you've got the lead in the Masters, and that's what you get. Lovely. What do you do? There's no other way. Unless you want to break the floor. And your wrists. Yeah. <laughs> Being that I put it down, shall I go first? Yeah. How do you play this? Plenty of loft, don't try and be a hero. Yeah. Obviously flip the club round, don't just use it. I've seen people do this and try and use the club that way. With no loft, obviously straight into the ground. Mm. And I'm actually going to put my weight on my right foot and just feel like I rock my shoulders but then still release it. Yeah, I, just, I feel like I get quite wristy with it. 
No, no. Oh. See, I, I could be shit at this. I think this could be a 3 0 here, right? You know, I don't think I'm going to beat that. I'll tell you what, chance. To oh. Too hard. Thinned it. Thinned it. See, you know, I think there. I think there, what you've struggled to do, you can get the club down to the back of the ball because the club's obviously flipped round. Yeah. Man came out of there, it still came out the grooves. Whereas you've tried to take I'm, away all the lot. Yeah, and just try and tell end it. Yeah. That's 3 0. So, bear lie through the trees to a short side of green. What do you do? Do you open the face up and use the bounce? Mm, no. I'd probably try and close the face a little bit. Yeah, leading edge. Yeah. Try and take ball first, yeah. nip it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. The, the problem here is if you try and use the bounce, obviously the leading edge raises up, it's the bounce gonna, hits the clay, the leading edge hits it. the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Thin. Thin. And you probably can't land it on the green either, can you? No. You've got to land it. To be fair with that, if you catch it right, it should spin a little bit as well. I can't play that any better and it's gone just it's landed on too far. Isn't it? You do anything differently than what I did? No, like you said. Just, just land it shorter? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Great effort, it's just sat down on you. I think I might have won that one. I think you have, yeah. So it's so easy there to do what I did. You got the bare light, you're short sided. I just hit it too hard. I made sure that I didn't want to decelerate. I didn't want to. The priority there for me was definitely getting the strike. I got the strike. Just a bit too firm. Well done, Tom. What about there? And we're going that way. You doing anything in particular? Well, Apart from praying. I'm getting my ball first because it's my honour. Sorry, mate. I mean, you've lost the match, but. Well, take a bit of dignity. Um, obviously, try and get my weight on my front foot rather than having it on my back. You've got to get steep, haven't you? Yeah, but that's the only thing. And I'd probably try... I'd obviously keep it still with the pointing at my belt buckle. I mean, it helps as massive if there's no lip on that yeah. side. If there was a lip there, you'd be knackered. But... I wouldn't open the club face that much, I don't think, because I don't see the point. Because I think you're just going to club it otherwise. Oh, Tom. What an effort that was. Now, the big thing that I took there from Tom's shot was the commitment, the speed. There was no deceleration there. He has taken half the bunker with him, but I think you've probably got to in that situation. I'm going to try and match that. I'm just going to put weight on the left foot. I'm going to have the face fairly square. I'm not going to grab my club in the bunker like I've done because Tom had penalised me for that. And I'm just going to try and jab it quite steeply. And yeah, that's what happens if you get it wrong. Guys, that is five impossible shots that the players could face at the Masters. I've taken the win there, three and two. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Tom, massive thanks for being such a great sport. It's nice to actually win a challenge out here. I have been having my to me a little bit there. But if you want to see anything like this, please comment below. Smash the comments and let me know what you want to see. Apart from that, guys, make sure you do enjoy the Masters. I am, did I tell you I'm going to the Masters? Yeah, you did. Did I? Yeah. Oh, are you sick of... Yeah, I'm sick of hearing it. Oh, um, guys, see you tomorrow.